Mendel's Pea Plants, An Introduction to Genetics. Why do we tend to look like our family members? For a long time, people understood that traits are passed down through families. The rules of how this worked were unclear, however. The work of Gregor Mendel was crucial in explaining how traits are passed down from each generation. Mendel's Experiments What does the word inherit mean? You may have inherited something of value from a grandparent or another family member. To inherit is to receive something from someone who came before you. You can inherit objects, but you can also inherit traits. For example, you can inherit your parents' eye color, hair color, or even the shape of their nose or ears. Genetics is the study of inheritance. The field of genetics seeks to explain how traits are passed from one generation to the next. In the late 1850s, an Austrian monk named Gregor Mendel performed the first genetic experiments. Gregor Mendel is known as the father of genetics. To study genetics, Mendel chose to work with pea plants because they have easily identifiable traits, figure seen here. For example, pea plants are either tall or short, which is an easy trait to observe. Furthermore, pea plants grow quickly, so he could complete many experiments in a short period of time. Characteristics of pea plants Mendel also used pea plants because they can either self-pollinate or be cross-pollinated. Self-pollination means that only one flower is involved. Cross-pollination is done by moving the pollen from one flower to the stigma of another, like bees do in nature. As a result, one plant's sex cells combine with another plant's sex cells. This is called a cross. These crosses produce offspring or children, just like when male and female animals mate. Since Mendel could move pollen between plants, he could carefully control and then observe the results of crosses between two different types of plants. He studied the inheritance patterns for many different traits in peas, including round seeds versus wrinkled seeds, white flowers versus purple flowers, and tall plants versus short plants. Because of his work, Mendel is considered the father of genetics. Mendel's first experiment. In one of Mendel's early experiments, he crossed a short plant and a tall plant. What do you predict the offspring of these plants were? Medium-sized plants? Most people during Mendel's time would have said medium-sized, but an unexpected result occurred. Mendel observed that the offspring of this cross, called F1 generation, were all tall plants. Next, Mendel let the F1 generation self-pollinate. That means the tall plants' offspring were crossed with each other. He found that 75% of their offspring, the F2 generation, were tall, while 25% were short. Shortness skipped a generation. But why? In all, Mendel studied seven characteristics with almost 20,000 F2 plants analyzed. All of his results were similar to the first experiment. About three out of every four plants had one trait, while just one of every four plants had the other. For example, he crossed purple-flowered plants and white-flowered plants. Do you think the colors blended? Well, they didn't. Just like the previous experiment, all of the offspring in this cross, the F1 generation, were one color, purple. In the F2 generation, 75% of the plants had purple flowers and 25% had white flowers, seen in the figure here. There was no blending of traits in any of Mendel's experiments. Summary time! Gregor Mendel was the father of the field of genetics, which seeks to explain how traits are passed from one generation to the next. To study genetics, Mendel chose to work with pea plants because they have easily identifiable traits.